Hi guys, welcome to my watercolour YouTube channel. I'm Karen Rice. I'm going to be painting in this tutorial today, semi-abstract sketches, really having fun and being creative with watercolour using lots of different sort of techniques, the spritzing, the plastic card, sort of painting on. You could use a palette knife as well. And I'm going to use a little bit of brush show for a little bit of extra texture. So I hope you're going to enjoy it. It's suitable for all levels. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do, put my glasses on. <laughs> Can't see a thing without my glasses. I'm doing the voiceover for this in a slightly different way. I'm doing it so you can actually see me on film. So I can, I feel like I can express myself a little bit more about what I'm doing, if that makes any sense. And it might help you a little bit more. And that's an added bonus. I'm using uh, Saunders Waterford rough paper and I've actually divided it up into four sections using my framing tape, but you could use masking tape. And these are some examples of some that I've painted in a similar style. I've used hot press paper here, but just getting creative using some yummy colors. I've got backgrounds there. I've used a bit of pen and wash as well on the top left and the top right hand one. And on the bottom right hand one, it's very, very abstract indeed. So I hope you like that. I've had lots of questions about what do I do with all my old paint? Well, here it is here from a previous demo. and I'm gonna use it in this demonstration. What I'd advise you to do, if you're gonna use sort of um, dried up tube paint or even pans, give them a spritz with your spritzer bottle a good half an hour before you start using them. And that way they will moisten up and you'll be able to use them with the plastic card. So I hope that's helpful. So I'm using a flat brush and I'm wetting the top left hand side with just some clean water from my trio pot. All the materials that I'll be using can be found in the description below but I'm just sort of drizzling water here, just trying to be really, really loose as well. And just sort of painting it in the sky area and then down towards the bottom of the tape there, just really loading my brush and trying to be creative just with water. You can sort of choose your bits. You can leave little dry areas as well, which is really helpful because you can sort of do quite exciting things with that. So I've got my plastic card, it's just an ordinary store card cut up. And I'm actually applying it now to the wet surface. This, these paintings are completely out of my imagination. This colour is a mixture of some violet blue and there's a little bit of black in there, some brown. It doesn't really matter. The important thing is to have fun and just to sort of play around with it. And you can see here I'm using tilting. I love tilting. You get some amazing effects there. And I'm using the sort of corner of the plastic card there. I'm not quite sure what I want to paint at the moment. I just want to have fun with it. You can be really abstract, just mess around with shapes, colours, darks and lights and textures and just see what happens. But I'm letting that drizzle down. I've also added a little bit of cerulean there. For those of you that would like to see longer tutorials with lots more voiceover, lots more information, um, why not check out my Patreon membership? Details about that can be found in the description below or in the top right hand corner of this video, depending on what device you are on. But what I'm doing here is I put the water in some really random places and I'm using Brusho and uh, some mixed different colors, browns and blues. And I'm also using my brush to paint with, a size six brush here. I'm painting an imaginary tree. Um, sometimes you might not feel comfortable painting from your imagination. I totally get that. So you might wanna find some pictures, photographs to get it in, you know, to get yourself going, any, you know, any sort of landscape. You don't have to copy it. It can just be there to inspire your creativity, your imagination you know, just to get that going. But you can see here, I'm using lots of sort of linear lines, sort of scratching with the plastic card, just having fun with it really. I love using blues and browns. I'm actually um, sprinkling on some sea salt, but you could use table salt as well. 
So I've wet the bottom right hand picture now. I'm using my plastic card and applying some blue. I kind of like to do things with water, um, with reflections. And you can see the top left has gone mad with the brush show and it's got lots of things, lots of yummy things happening there. But this one here, I'm kind of doing a landscape. Will I do water? I probably will end up doing water. So it could all be just little water studies really. That's what it's turned into. But the previous, the um, little um, example I showed you at the beginning um, had lots of similar sort of colours. It's very therapeutic to do this, but I'm sort of swiping on some dark sort of colours here, black with some and gold. I will put some colour suggestions as well in the description if you find it helpful. I'm putting a cool blue at the top of the sky there. And I'm applying now some, I've sprinkled some brusho actually onto the surface there and I'm scratching in now, sort of painting in a tree, an imaginary tree with my plastic card. Most of this is going to be done with mostly, I'm not really painting with brushes here, using mostly the plastic card, tilting techniques, the brush o technique, you know, um, spritzing on the brush o applying that, shaking it out of its little drum, or you can actually apply it by dipping a dry brush in there and tapping it so you release all those little particles. If you're interested in brusho as well, I'll put a, um, a link in the description below where I do a, a sort of a whole tutorial all about brusho. It's really exciting. And I'm spattering here as well to create texture and lifting off grasses here on the right hand side as well. Um, and painting in the trees using the plastic card. The exciting thing about the plastic card is it, it really loosens, lo loosens you up a lot. And I've used brusho again, and I'm now building up um, on the riverbank here, painting in a sort of a Payne's gray color, but I'm painting in some grasses. And as you can see here, because the underpainting has dried here, how these dark colors sort of come forward. And again, this is just from my, from my imagination, and it's just to give you an idea of how to loosen up and sometimes just dividing something a piece of paper into four like this can sort of just it, it takes the pressure off and you might end up just really developing one painting as well why not but you can really sort of let go and practice color mixing and textures etc so what I'm doing now is I'm just removing the framing tape and you've got a lovely white border here. So they're all like little individual paintings, which I love. I've allowed my painting to dry off now and I'm actually using some white gouache, especially if you've been tilting and spraying, you might lose your light. So I've actually painted a little bit of light on the right hand side and I'm spattering here on the left and the right, just with some white paint. Um, and I'm actually painting a little bit of dry brush here using a size two brush just to put a little bit of highlights in the water and also to mirror and to be a reflection of what's going on on the shore as well on the riverbank. And it's quite effective. And why not give it another little spatter? Be rude not to. And I'm just painting in some birds here where the brush -o kind of went flying. I'm going to use those random sort of dots to create some birds, some wildlife. And I thought just to balance everything out, I paint a little tree and I'm just finishing off now using some wisteria, lavender and white, but all by Daniel Smith and just spattering some of those delicious colours onto the dry surface to kind of finish off. I always love to finish off with a spatter. So here are my four finished sketches and I'm really pleased with them. You can see I've done a lot more sort of developing them as well and I will that will be on the Patreon membership, how I sort of develop them a little bit more. Um, it, but they were so much fun to do. I absolutely enjoyed doing this. I feel like I've got my own sort of art therapy and I wanted to share it with you all here. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget, if you haven't already, to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll get updates of my latest videos. And of course, if you want to watch those longer tutorials and support me um, on my Patreon membership, check out the link below. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Happy painting. Bye for now.